So, you just want to shoot stuff? Not a problem. For this tutorial, I highly recommend grabbing the Military Dark Pack from the Unreal Market. It's totally free and has lots of awesome effects that you can use for bullets and explosions. It will probably tell you that it's not compatible with your project, but they are lying to you, so just pick the latest version and add it anyway. Also, if you need a bullet particle, various awesome members of the community have made a free one that you can use. I'll leave a link to it in the pinned comment. Okay, so let's right click, blueprint, actor, name it bullet, open it, and add a box collider. Drag it in to replace the root. Under collision presets, set it to blocks all. Add a particle system. If you're using a newer one, like the one my community provided, you'll want to use a Niagara system. Otherwise, if you're using an older one, probably use Cascader. Regardless, after you do that, add a radial force, which is what the physics engine uses to push things. The blast radius is controlled here. The larger the impulse strength, the more things get pushed away. Finally, the most important thing we'll need to add is a projectile movement component, which is actually what moves the bullet forward. Now, from here, initial speed determines how fast the bullet travels in the beginning. Bullets move pretty fast. Max speed can be set here, and when it comes to standard bullets, I usually check rotation follows velocity, which just makes sure that the bullet is facing the direction that it is going. I don't want my bullet to be affected by gravity, so I'm going to set that to zero. And if you're doing a missile or some kind of homing projectile, I would check is homing projectile to true, and this number would determine the turn rate of the missile. The higher the number, the faster the missile would turn each frame towards the target. Now, we are not doing a missile, so I'm just going to leave that turned off. And down here under velocity, you can manually set the X, Y, and Z speeds if you want. So that is the setup, and now we gotta program it. Click the box collider, and on the right at the bottom, add the on hit component. So now let's go and tell the game what needs to happen when the bullet collides with something. So obviously we want to trigger our radial force and fire the blast radius then spawn the hit particle effect. I'm just gonna pick impact metal small from the military dark thing that we downloaded earlier. Play a sound for hitting the wall. I'm just gonna pick this one. And then obviously the bullet needs to destroy itself after it's done. Now we need to get the location for where the particle and sounds should be played. We can do this by dragging the hit out, break hit results, and if you expand, you can drag the location into these two sockets here. Awesome. Now something else we probably need to do is play a sound when the bullet is fired and create the muzzle flash for the particle. So if we just go up here under event begin play, you can drag out another play sound at location, set it to whatever bullet sound you want. I'm just going to pick this one. And then drag out another spawn emitter from the particle here. I'm just going to pick the assault rifle muzzle flash. And from location, we can drag a get actor location, save, Awesome. Now we just got to make the turret. So let's just say you have a basic turret object and you want it to fire stuff. Well, to start off, right click, new blueprint, actor, name it, open it, add a static mesh and set it to your turret and make sure it's facing the red direction and make sure you set collision to none. Then go to the event graph and don't forget to go up to class defaults and change the actor to player zero. And let's just say you want to use the E key to trigger the fire then drag out a spawn actor from class. Then you can right click and split the struct and now you can set it to the bullet that we just created. And from location we can drag a get actor location and from rotation we can drag out a get actor rotation. So now every time we press the E key it's going to create that bullet blueprint at the location and the rotation that the turret is facing. If we save now, you're done. Hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.